Hi everyone, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us at Dentinal Tubules and uh, thank you very much for the very kind invitation. Uh, this afternoon will be about biomimetic dentistry and um, especially the topic of today is about the veneer cementation and I will only address in this presentation ceramic uh, veneer presentation and we will have a very clinical insight on the subject so it will be few science maybe or not too much just a little bit uh, the what we need and uh, otherwise will be just uh, a daily um, workflow on ceramic veneer cementation. If we speak about veneer, uh, we just have to thank first the technician team which is working with us because uh, half of the work that you will see today on the slides are uh, the work of those guys which are Samuel Schwab, Bernard Lemleiter, Grégoire Martin and uh, also a very special one, Jem Piskin. Jem is a brilliant uh, ceramist from Lausanne, Switzerland, and uh, I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to work with that guy. Is a member of the Biomulation Group. Maybe you've heard about that group. Biomulation Group is about 30, a gathering of 30 dentists, uh, more or less, technicians inside, and uh, we all share the same passion for adhesive dentistry mainly trying to emulate, very modestly, to emulate uh, nature with our reconstruction, prosthetic reconstruction or direct recon reconstructions. And I'm belonging to the grey uh, row, to the grey floor, which are the everyday dentist practitioner. So what you will see today is not uh, that fancy dentistry, perfect dentistry about veneers. It's what you can do every day in your veneers and uh, uh, in your practice with veneers. And uh, when I had to prepare this presentation, I naturally turned myself to Marco Chesnik from Holland, uh, which is also a member of the Biomulation team, is the, uh, a blue member. Uh, the blue members are uh, also the policemen, you know, they are controlling a little bit the clinicians that we are because they know a lot about science. So I asked Marco, um, what about statistics? What do we have about veneer? Is it a safe treatment? Because it is a common idea that veneers are a delicate treatment, tricky treatment, difficult one. So how it is looking in reality. And um, here are some of the studies that you can find. Uh, uh, not all the studies here, but, and you can see that uh, about the failure rate, or success rate, depends how you look at it, uh, the failure rate are quite low. So it's pretty reassuring and say, okay, if after 20 years or 15 years, I have 7% of problems, that's not a lot, I could do that very easily and I can try to do uh, some veneers in my office. But within those studies, one is jumping out with very different uh, results. And uh, for this author, this is a group of author, uh, they've treated a lot of patients, done a lot of veneers, more than 2,500 veneers, which is a lot. And after 10 years, uh, almost 50% of the veneers failed, which is huge, which is too much. So how can we explain those discrepancies between the studies? Um, you have to know that this BRIT study was done uh, within the NHS regulations, so you know better than I what signifies NHS regulation. It signifies that this is private practice, those are treatments done by very different practitioner and it's absolutely not uh, the same as a prospective study done in the university, of course. So what it means is that for those treatments which are very demanding, it's not all but a lot uh, relative to the operator uh, itself, himself. So we are responsible for what we do and that's why uh, the procedure, the protocols are so important to follow, uh, I would say, very strictly if we want to have the good outcomes and not the bad ones. So, uh, let's start now directly the concrete things and this is the menu I am suggesting to you. Very simple, very basic, what do we need to achieve a safe cementation procedure of our veneers 
and how to do it, practically speaking. Well, what would you like to have uh, or what do we need to do it? <coughs> we need uh, an effective bonding first. Yes, of course, uh, because when we are preparing or sometimes not preparing, not even preparing for veneers, um, the preparation itself is, doesn't have any geometry or very few geometry. So we need some bonded retention. It's not like for conventional dentistry. So that's why uh, the efficiency of the bonding is so important. Then, as the treatments are located in the anterior area, of course, it needs to be aesthetic. It seems to be very uh, obvious to say, oh, it needs to be aesthetic. But we will see uh, up to the first day the margin of the veneers will be clearly visible. So it needs to be, the cementation is absolutely not forgiving, it needs to be aesthetic. And we will see how to achieve this. Um, as the treatment in itself is not so easy to do, we would like the looting cement to be very easy to handle with. And this is, this is not always the case. So we will see the different option. And of course, Especially because the treatment is very difficult, we don't want to have to redo it next week. So especially, it's like, you know, with very difficult patient. Maybe uh, you do it even better because you don't want those patients to come back in your office uh, very soon. So that's exactly the same with veneers. We want those treatments to last for very long. So uh, 